Good morning, Pro Cutters. Finally, the weather's broke, so I'm back out here at the fence job, and I've got the first post in next to the house, and the fence is gonna be coming straight out here and then going straight up there. Uh, we were originally gonna put it on the berm, but now what we're gonna do is just run it two foot off of the neighbor's fence, and that's gonna match the neighbor's fence. It'll be privacy. And then across the back all the way, we're going to be doing a split rail with an X pattern. And I've got two poles in there so far. The first pole I've already got cut to height and the cap is sitting on it. The second pole I've left full length because what I'm going to do is after I have all my poles in, then I'll run a string line from here to the last pole so all my poles will be cut at the same height and so getting ready to dig the next one I've got them marked first thing I did was spray my straight line and then I've got a mark every eight foot and so now I'm going to dig out my next hole concreting in all the posts and then once I get the posts in I'll run the wire fencing and then start putting on the split rails stay tuned Five posts down across the back, seven posts to go. Now we've got all the posts in across the back. And the first one is cut down, the rest of them are flown high. And of course this corner post is going to still remain high compared to the rest of those because it's going to tie into the privacy fence that goes down this side of the property and over to the house. So now I'm going to start putting the wire on. And then once I get the wire on, I'm going to hold off on putting these boards on right now. And I'm going to skip over to the far side of the house, close it in. Then I'm going to come back here and work on this side of the house. This way, if I don't get this fence done, I could just put a small piece of wire across there to wherever I'm finished to. And so the yard will be temporarily closed in tonight for their dog. So that's where we're at right now. And so that's the wire that we're using. And it's just getting stapled on to the posts. And then when the split rails go on top of it, they'll hold them in place as well. So this wire will just get rolled out and stapled to all the posts. And then we'll be ready to move. x pattern design and now that'll continue on for every single panel and then we'll cut our posts to height and put our copper caps on so stay around watch me finish this out like comment subscribe Now I'm not exactly sure when the time lapse cut out, but as you can see, I've got the back fence, all these split rails are on, and I've cut the outside of the 4x4s down to length, 
now I've got to cut the inside ones down and then put the caps on and the back side is done. Good morning guys and girls. It's uh, day two on the fence job. I've already got started. I started on the skinny bit. The part that was kicking my butt last night, it continues to kick my butt this morning. And so I'm just leaving that like that for now. And I've switched over to the other side of the house. And I've got my, yesterday I put the first pole in by the house. Today I've set my corner post and put my first piece of fence up using panels. Probably should have just stick built it. Would have been a lot easier. And then on this one, since I have an angle here, I found my angle, which is 17 degrees, and cut a 17 degree angle on the edge of this fence panel. And you can see it just fits perfect. And then had the hole ready for the next one, dropped the post in, hooked the panel onto this side, and then I've measured across there. I'm digging for my next post. Panel post, panel post, panel post. And uh, it won't become a problem until I get up there and it starts skewing up and then I'm gonna start to have issues again a little bit. So that's it. That's the job I got going on right now. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. y'all i feel triumphant this freaking panel has kicked my butt trying to get it in because of the skew of the land i've never had an issue before with these panels i've always been able to skew them into place but i'll tell you what i'm wishing i had a stick frame this one all right day three technically four but three actually work and the first day was uh, delivery and setup and everything and now I'm working on putting my top rails on so it's just a matter of cutting them to length and the angles so they fit tightly and then once the top rail goes on putting this decorative board on here so I'm going to do that all the way up this side and by that time the sun will be over here and it'll be warmer and I've got one more panel to put here and a gate to put here and then I've got to put the gate on the other side and we'll be close to done stay tuned alright I got one side of the fence done and as you can see I just cut the bottom instead of skewing the boards because after I set this one with that straight top it just looks so good level like that I went ahead and did the same thing for the gate and then on the gate I used a scrap piece of fence board because it was lighter than a 2x4 to uh, keep it light and then got the latch on the inside and then I've got the cross board on there to keep the gate from sagging double hinges 
So the backyard and the right side of the yard are complete. Got the copper caps on the fence. Got another contractor over there putting in a French drain for an, another neighbor here. And so all I have left is the far side of the house. And I'll show you what I got going on over there. So pretty soon I'll have this one wrapped up. So as you can see, all I lack, I've got to put the top cap on this fence, cut in a couple of skinny bits for there and build my gate, cut the four by fours to length and put the caps on. And then this side will be all set as well. And the entire backyard will be secure so the puppy doesn't get out and get hurt. Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, check out Cycle Red, check out Wine World.